Well, hello YouTube, it's me, TriStateEDC, on a Friday with a box, another box. I'm pretty sure I've received a new box every single day this week. It's been a wild one. It's been a wild one. My wife leaves for a week and I'm swimming in boxes. This one comes to me, come to me by way of Tier 1 gear reviews. Uh, I don't know what it is. I have no clue. So let's bust it open. That's right, Tier 1 Gear Review sent this uh, little mystery package along to me, and I don't know what it is. I, you know, but I'm intrigued. I always am. I always am when a new box shows up. Uh, unboxing knife today, the Raccoon from Bostine. Uh, sweet little budget button lock here. Dynamite, little guy. Just dynamite. Uh, if I've been struggling to speak English lately. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think my brain is broken. So if, if I start speaking gibberish, you know, bear with me. Uh, what the f*** is this? Asymmetrical? Nothing left in there. Good. Goodbye. Asymmetrical. Um, made in China. ASM2101BR is the model number here. What the f*** is this? <laughs> what is this? I still don't know what it is, uh, so let's open her up. We got a pouch, we got a cloth, a really nice cloth, big one. The box is a little worse for wear, if I'm being honest, but what is... Th ooh, ooh, okay, I know what this is. Dirk Pinkerton, this is the... Oh, this is the... This is the... This is the... The contact? Maybe? <laughs> I do know this is designed by Dirk Pinkerton, uh, a full titanium build. I, I want to say Beyond EDC is OEM behind these. Like, they're the ones making it. Um, I handled it at Blade Show just briefly. not And, and I was really Im impressed by it. But I've never had one on the channel. So here we are, baby. This is the contact. Dirk Pinkerton design. Beyond EDC made. Uh, we got a full titanium build. Uh, frame lock. This wild milling. This little decorative micro milling on all of the chamfered areas. All over here. On both sides. Really nice tactile feel to it. Thumb studs only, got some nice jimping here on the blade spine, that feels good. Grippy texturing back here, and back here, and up here. Nice, simple, milled titanium clip, anodized blue. I think the color of this is like a bronzy color, maybe? Future me, tell me what I'm looking at here, I don't, I have no idea, I'm so tired. I could go to bed, it's 8 o'clock, I'm ready for bed, I'm such an old man. Gotta wake up. So let's flick this thing open. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that warning. Look at that warning. Kind of angled upwards, too. Canted upwards. That is a nice profile. That is a really clean profile. That's why I wanted to check this one out. Look at that blade. Uh, S35 VN on the blade steel there. Nice, tall, flat grind. Or is it a hollow grind? <sighs> flat grind. Flat, flat grind. Really nice profile. Really clean. Really lightweight, honestly, in hand. It's not a huge knife uh, size comparison. Pepperoni, where are you? I'm trying not to run you over, pal. Here is a rock wall. Tactile Knife Co. Rock wall for size comparison. I don't know where my... There's my pair of three. Don't worry. Nobody panic. I found the pair of three. And there is the pair of three. So, a, a, right in that ballpark. A really reasonable size for EDC. Nothing crazy. Just a wild looking EDC warning, baby. Full tie. I, so, Ergos in hand. Feels great. That feels nice. Locked in. A little bit... Hot spot down here. Down here. In this little the little lockup area here. Lockup's intense. Solid. No lock rock. No play. But that feels fine. Really nice jimping. Really grippy. Really locks in right there. Uh, no forward finger toil. So you, it is what it is. You can pinch grip it all day though. No worries there. That feels nice. That feels great. It's a good looking knife, man, I, and I'm really blown away by how light it is. I mean, it's a really simple construction, uh, uh, really simple construction, milled out on the inside of those scales to keep the weight down, just some standoffs. It's a clean knife. I, I dig it. I dig it. I love Dirk Pinkerton's work. Uh, I can't talk today. Oh, running on bearings. Wow. So detents. Oh my God, dude, that closing action. Ooh. That thing just closes. Holy crap. Action's amazing. 
Thumb flick feels great. Reverse flick. Oh, nice and snappy. Detent feels great. Excellent. Excellent. Genuinely. What the fuck? I can't believe how smooth those bearings are. Let's check the, uh, the acoustics. Decent. That action's really good. That is really good. And again, lockup is solid. It's not just kind of haphazardly thrown together. It is a really well put together thing. I want to say these are really affordable. Under 200, full tie, S35VN. Um, I shit, man. I might need to get myself one. I've been meaning to get one for a long time, but this was on the pass around group, and I was like, well, let me check it out for the channel. Let's cut something with it real quick. Let's see if that warning will cut anything. Let's take a look. See, I got the old phone book out. Again, S35VN, uh, relatively tall flat grind, comes about 60% mm, of the way up the height of the blade. Oh, great. Absolutely. No issues. Decently thick blade stock, not the thinnest behind the edge by any means, um, but perfectly fine for normal, normal EDC work. No problems. No problems. I can't speak to the heat treat on the S35. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm not the first in line on this, so a lot of reviewers have been able to fart around with this one before me so we'll see not the full review just the first impressions unboxing all that good stuff plenty of pictures on instagram and on Karen's instagram as well so be sure to check us out there but that is it for me the contact the asymmetrical contact i guess is what we're going to call call this the dirk pinkerton contact I, I don't know links in the description to this you can check it out for yourself but that is it for me so until next time thank you all oh so very much for watching bye bye now mm -hmm.